Hello, mediums. Today we're going to talk about what I feel are the most important things that we need to keep in mind any time we make a contact with the spirit world. Don't go away. All right, let's talk about this. I believe that mediumship is quite simple, but it's not easy. Let's face it, it's hard work. And you really have to work hard with, with your mediumship and developing your mediumship. It's not something that happens overnight. Um, you may have those gifts all your life, but it's a matter of allowing those gifts to come forward and to um, develop and also for you to be able to learn how to control all the gifts that you've been given and work with them in a way that your delivery and your um, mediumship is working at an optimal level. So I believe that in, with mediumship, the first thing that you have to do is, for me, I set my intent, I'm about to work in the spirit world. And then I begin to raise my energy up and blend my energy with the spirit world. And then I surrender to the spirit world and I invite them to come in and be as close to me as they've ever been before. I want their energy to come like this and blend with my energy so that their thoughts become my thoughts. So I want to set my intent. That's the first thing I want to do. The second thing that I want to do is blend my energy and raise it up so, so that the spirit world can meet me. And the third thing that I want to do is surrender. So it's really simple. Those three things are quite um, um, powerful when you begin to work with the spirit world. So for today, um, if you come to my, my uh, free circle that I do on the Medium's Corner, then you are aware of this little exercise. This is an exercise that I learned from one of my tutors. It's not mine. And I used it a lot. I, I don't necessarily use it now because I've, I've moved on beyond this, but um, it was extremely helpful to me for the first, I'd say for the first four years of my training. I used this all the time. So we're going to do this exercise. I'm going to run you through it. And this is what you can do every time before you begin to work. It's like sitting in the power, but not quite. But it's close to it. And it's much shorter, so you don't, you know, you don't have to do the whole 30-minute meditation of sitting in the power. If you, are, you know, you're getting ready to work, if you go into a place where you're going to work on the platform or wherever you may be and you know you've got to do a quick reading, this is a quick way to get you there, all right? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to just uh, find a nice, quiet place. Make sure you don't have any disruptions and uh, just close your eyes and I want you to take a couple of deep breaths and as you take your breaths just know that with each breath in and each breath out you are becoming more and more centered and you are also grounding yourself so a couple of deep breaths in and then exhale out. Very good. Now just allow your breathing to become, come into a natural rhythm. Nothing's forced, just natural rhythm. And with each breath in and each breath out, you become a little more relaxed. Allowing yourself to become very centered. Allowing your thoughts and all the tensions in your body 
to just leave. Very good. Coming more relaxed. Breathing in and breathing out. And your own words, I want you to set your intention to work with the spirit world. So you may say to them, spirit world, I'm here to work. And then with that, we're going to begin to raise our energy. So Visualize a beautiful light in the core of your being, shining ever so brightly. This is your light. This is your true essence. And visualize this light beginning to grow brighter and expand within your body with each breath in and each breath out. Expanding more until the whole of your body is now consumed with this pure light, pure essence. Very good. Now imagine or visualize this light becoming so powerful that it must move beyond the confines of your body. Visualize this light moving out around your body and moving up to the spirit world. With each breath in and each breath out, the light becomes even more brighter and even larger until it fills the entire room in which you are. Moving up to the spirit world and out in all directions. Now you've set your intent. Let's surrender now. In your own words, you're going to cry out to the spirit world and you're going to say something to this effect. Spirit world, come closer. I'm ready to work. Come closer than you've ever been before. I surrender to you. Come, gather around me so that we may work as one. Invite them in. giving your gratitude for them coming to work with you. They chose you, special, to be the medium. Now I want you to ask the spirit world, the first person that's going to come through, ask them to come even closer. Closer still. And ask them to just place their hand upon your shoulder so that you may begin to blend your energy with theirs. Set that intent. Surrender. Invite them 
to blend so closely with your energy that their thoughts become your thoughts. Take as much time as you need. And when you are ready, begin your reading. Okay, now open your eyes. Guys, this simple, simple activity is really all you need. This is it. This is one of your keys. If you sit in the power on a daily basis, I do have a sitting in the power video um, on my channel that you can use. Sit, on, sit in the power on a daily basis because that is training yourself to build your power so that when it's time for you to work, you can do this activity very quickly. If you don't sit in the power on a regular basis, building, building, building in that 30 minute video or meditation, then this one might not work as well. Just know that they do, they do complement one another. This is one that you just do at the spur of the moment, right before you go on stage, right before you begin your um, read, your one-to-one -one reading with somebody, all right? Guys, give it a go. Find somebody to practice with. You can put this video back on and just forward to the point to where I begin the exercise and use that to help get you ready to give your reading. Try it. Let me know how it goes in the comments down below. I'm anxious to find out if you can tell a difference, if your information um, comes easier for you connect. So guys, in this video, you've learned that we must set our intent. We must blend our energy with the spirit world and we must surrender. It's that simple, guys. Really, it's that simple. All right. Good luck.